In this tutorial, I'll cover the following topics. We'll take a quick look at the layout of the phone. Then we'll go through a series of options where you can choose a language, modify how the date and time are displayed, change the phone's password, lock and unlock the phone, check the status of the phone, define how the hands-free button works, adjust the headset microphone level, select DHSG, select a ringtone, change the brightness of the LCD screen and brightness timer, set up speed dial and restart the phone. The 6867i has three significant areas, soft keys, an LCD screen and a navigation button, hard-coded buttons for the most commonly used features, and a standard dial pad. Let me start with a quick overview of the hard-coded button layout. On the left side is a presence button where you'll be able to view a contacts busy lamp field details if a busy lamp field key is selected, picture ID if applicable, as well as all of the phone numbers of your contact saved in your phone's memory. Next is the goodbye button. The goodbye button is used to hang up on a call or exit out of a variety of menus. The hold button, the options button, which opens a series of menus where you can customize and display information about your phone, mute, and volume control key. On the right side of the phone, starting at the top, is the directory button. Your administrator must enable this feature. This is your personal phone book and can store up to 200 entries. A multi-directional navigation key that is used to navigate through items on the LCD screen. There is a transfer button, a conference button, a callers list button to access a history of incoming calls, a redial button, two hard-coded line keys with LEDs, and a hands-free speaker handset headset toggle button. Now let's take a look at the options list. This is where you can access services and options to customize your phone. I'll press the options button to open the options list. I will use the navigation key to navigate, display, and modify the items in the options list. I can use the left and right arrows to move to and highlight an option. And if sub options are available, I can use the up and down arrows to highlight those. Once I have highlighted an option, I can either press the center navigation button, which will select or save my choice, or I can press the select slash save soft key in the bottom left corner of the LCD screen. Throughout the rest of this tutorial, I will only refer to and use the soft key, but just remember, I could also press the center navigation button. There is also an advanced soft key. This is only for administrators and requires an administrator password. You can press the quit soft key or the goodbye button to exit out and return to the main screen. When we first open the options list, we are brought to the phone status option. I'm going to move all the way to the left and quickly go through each option, so we will come back to the status in just a minute. We will highlight and start with the language option. The 6800i series has multilingual support and additional language packs are available. Press the select soft key to open the language menu. If you make any changes, press the Save Soft key. Or, to go back one menu without making any changes, you can press the Cancel Soft key. The next menu is Time and Date. There are a variety of menus to set up the time and date format. However, your telephone system should automatically take care of this for you, and no modifications in this menu should be necessary. Next is Call Forward. Selecting this option would take me to a menu where I could forward my phone to another number. I'll configure and set up call forward in a separate tutorial. The next option is lock. The first sub option is password. Here you can change the password on your phone. Enter the current password, enter the new password and confirm it. The password characters must be numeric and the factory default is blank or no password. You'll want to change and use a password other than the factory default if you plan to lock or unlock your phone. Arrow down to the next sub-option, Phone Lock. A user or system administrator can lock a phone to prevent it from making outside calls or from changing how the phone is configured. To unlock the phone, press the Options button and enter the phone's password. Press Enter, then press the Unlock Soft key. The next option is Status. Here you will see things like firmware, your phone's IP address. Let's make a note of the IP address 
because we will need it when we open up the web user interface. There is also a summary of the number of records in various lists. I'll press the Cancel Soft key to go back to the previous screen. Now let's look at the audio options. It has four sub-options. I'll go into Audio Mode first. This sub-option allows you to configure how the hands-free button works. There are four choices. If you select the first choice, Speaker, when you press the hands-free speaker button, calls will toggle between the handset and the speakerphone. If you select Headset, when you press the hands-free button, calls will toggle between the handset and the headset. If you select Speaker slash Headset, all incoming calls will be sent to the speakerphone first, and when you press the hands-free button, calls will toggle between the speakerphone, handset, and headset. And if you choose the last option, headset slash speaker, all incoming calls will be sent to the headset, and when you press the hands-free button, calls will toggle between the headset, speakerphone, and handset. Once I've made my selection, I'll press the Save Soft key. Arrow down to the next sub-option, Headset. If you're going to use a headset, this sub-option lets you select the headset microphone volume. This sub-option is also where you would select if you're using a DHSG headset. I will not be using a headset, so I will press Cancel to go back one screen, and then arrow down to Ringtones, and press the Select Soft key. Here you will arrow through the choices. Highlight a ringtone and press the Save Soft key to save and begin using that ringtone. Arrow down to the next sub-option, Tone Set. Different countries use different tone sets. I'll press the Cancel Soft key and press the right arrow to move on to the next option, Display. Here you can set the brightness level of the LCD screen and define how long the backlight will stay on. The default is 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. I'll leave the default, press Cancel, and move on to the next option, Dial Pad. Here you have two sub-options. I'll go into Live Dial Pad first. If you turn the Live Dial Pad on, your phone automatically dials out and turns the hands-free mode on as soon as the Dial Pad key or Soft key is pressed. I choose to have this option on. The next sub-option is Speed Dial Edit. Before I go into this option, I want to tell you that there are three ways to add speed dial numbers. The first way is from the main screen. Pressing and holding a blank soft key for three seconds will open up a dialog box. Using the dial pad, enter the name, phone number, select the line, and press save. The second way is to log into the web user interface by opening a browser, in the URL box, enter the phone's IP address we got from the status screen. Log in with the username, user, and the phone's password. This is the password we used in the password option. Then on the left, click on Soft Keys and XML. Select a tab, bottom keys or top keys. Here you can add, edit, or delete the speed dial information on a soft key. On the left, right below soft keys, is the keypad speed dial. Here you can add, edit, or delete keypad or dial pad speed dial numbers. For this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create keypad or dial pad speed dial numbers using the phone. So let's go back to the options list, arrow over to speed dial, and down to the speed dial edit sub option. Each speed dial key number is associated with the corresponding keypad or dial pad number. So the information entered into speed dial keypad 1 is activated and will dial the speed dial number by pressing and holding the 1 key on the dial pad for 3 seconds. The last option is restart the phone. If you select this option, you'll be prompted to confirm that you want to restart your phone, and if you do, the phone will reboot. And one last thing, anytime you're in the options list and you want to exit out, you can press the goodbye button. This will exit you out of wherever you're at in the options list quickly and return you back to the main screen.